Welcome. In this video, we will take a look at another implicit derivative. We have the equation 2y squared x plus 7y equals 3x. So just as before, we want to think about taking the derivative and finding dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x, when we're done. So to do that, we want to start by taking the derivative with respect to x of both sides. So let's go through each term left to right. The first term is probably the most interesting term in this equation. We have a product of x and y, 2x, uh, 2y squared times x. If I wanted to break this down and take its derivative, I really need to use a product rule. So let's consider what that product rule is going to look like. I have 2y squared as a single function, and I'll also write, uh, treat the x as a separate function. So those are my two multiplied functions that I want to take. So just to remind ourselves, the product rule here, if I have two functions, we'll call f and g, we can take their derivative f prime g plus f g prime is one way we could do that. And we'll just use this pattern. So let's start with the derivative of the first. We would say this is going to be 2 times 2 is 4y. And since this is a y term, I need to take the chain rule. So the derivative of the y inside the inner function would just be dy dx. So that's the derivative of the first. Multiplied by the second is just an x. And then we'll do plus. We'll leave the first function alone. That's 2y squared. And then taking the derivative of the second, which is the x, that will just be a 1. And so we'll just leave that as 2x, uh, 2y squared. The next term that I want to take a look at is the 7y. So the derivative of 7y here will have 7 as the constant. The derivative of a y term here, we can just write as dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x. And then finally, on the right side of this equation, the derivative of 3x with respect to x will just be the constant of 3. So we've taken the derivative with respect to x of both sides of this equation. We'll notice that there is two dy dx terms that is left in my expression. So I'd like to go out and solve for dy dx by isolating those dy dx terms on one side, and then I'll use this factoring technique to solve it outright. So let's start by subtracting the non-dy dx or derivative terms to the right side. So that would be subtract 2y squared on both sides. So I'll have 4yx dy dx plus 7 dy dx and then equals 3 minus 2 y squared. So I've got my dy dx terms isolated on the left side and my non-derivative terms on the right. I can now consider factoring out the dy dx term on the left. This is what I'm going for. And what's left is the 4yx plus a 7. And that's set equal to, again, the non-derivative terms, 3 minus 2y squared. The last thing we can do here is just divide both sides by my 4yx plus 7. And 
And so when these cancel, I'll be left with the dy dx. So let's rewrite that one more time. We have dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x, is equal to 3 minus 2y squared over 4yx plus 7. Again, my derivative with respect to x here is dependent on both x and y in this equation. So hopefully this is a helpful video for you guys. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.